the name of the Father, Father and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Come on forward, kids. I'm going to have the teenagers come too, so Sydney and Philip, you guys come forward today as well. We're going to make you guys do everything today. Dress up like angels and all the rest. And I'll just have you stay for the whole homily, okay? No, you can go back to your seat after we're done. It's okay. We'll let you go back. Everyone here. Well, I will start off. Um, I, I want to welcome my, my mother-in-law, Susan, here. She's with us this day. And uh, so please say hello to her um, at some point, maybe afterwards. I would welcome my father-in-law as well, but he's golfing. But uh, in all fairness, he came down for a tournament. But, you know, when, when I first um, was about to have my first daughter, um, I remember Buzz saying to me, that's my father-in-law's name. He said, I said to God, let anything happen to my kids, but make sure they love you. Mm -hmm. I told myself not to get choked up. <laughs> Well, this is how I feel, too. This is, you all are what matter most. You kids, you matter most. In this world, God loves you very much. One day, kids were coming to see Jesus, and his disciples said, no, don't bother him. You're just kids. You don't matter. And Jesus said, don't prohibit the little children. Theirs is the kingdom of God. You have angels, as we talked about today, who go before God every day and report on you. They report on your well-being. They report on how your life is going. They tell God, and God's concerned. In fact, He's most concerned about you. And we should all be concerned about you because you are the future for us in this world. What worries parents more than anything else, parents who understand what matters, isn't if your bodies get sick. It's if your spirits get sick. It's if your soul gets sick. Because just like the physical body, the soul can get sick too. And if the soul gets sick enough, it can die. It can die within us. So in the so same way that we nurture, nurture the body, body we, have we have to nurture, nurture our souls. We have to nurture our souls by keeping Christ close to us. Jesus went to heal a little girl, 12 years old, a 12-year-old little girl who had died. And her parents were sorrowful because she was gone. They thought, I'll never see her again. And Jesus reached out his hand and said, daughter, arise. He gave her her life back. Her soul was restored. This is what Jesus does. He restores our souls. He brings, he brings us back, back to life. life. When your, your soul, soul feels, feels sick, sick, okay, when you, when you don't you feel, don't feel like, like going to prayer, prayer, when you don't, you don't feel, feel like, like serving God, God. when you don't, you don't feel, feel like, like seeking after, after what's, what's best, best for your life, life. Recognize, recognize in your soul that it needs Jesus to touch it. Mm -hmm. You need you Jesus need to touch your soul. He doesn't just touch your body, he touches your soul. And he raises it up. And he gives you that opportunity. Okay? So I want to give you that opportunity too. Okay? I want you to understand this. I want to invite you to be raised up with Jesus, sons and daughters. Okay? With Jesus. 
Allow Jesus to touch your hearts, to touch your souls. And when you stand, when you arise, to go back to your seat, make a decision to allow Jesus to raise you up and to touch your soul and to heal it. Amen? Do you want Jesus to touch your heart? Do you want him to touch your soul? You want him to raise you up? You want him to be in your heart? Okay, then raise up, sons and daughters. Raise up in Christ. Raise up your souls with Christ. And scat. As Jesus was on his way to heal this, this little girl, a woman with a flow of blood for all of her life touched Jesus him. Now, if you don't know Jewish law, this is, this, is a, this is a tough life that she lived because she was nida, it means unclean. And when a woman was unclean, they had to go away for seven days and stay in a hut. The guys liked it because they didn't get yelled at for seven days. But it was tough because they also couldn't go into temple. But this woman had lived her life, her whole life, unable to go to temple, unable to enter into God's dwelling place. David said, better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. But she never could go. She was always stuck away from everybody else. When you had neither, you couldn't even touch her husband. You couldn't make his bed. You couldn't go near anyone because you were unclean and this woman lived with that and we're told that she spent all of her money, her resources, trying to be healed but could find no deliverance. And in a moment of desperation and faith, as Jesus was walking by, she touched his garment. Touched his garment. And Jesus stopped in his tracks and he said, who touched me? Peter said, Lord, there are people gathering and thronging around you. They're all touching you. And Jesus said, no, someone touched me. I felt power go forth from me. And the woman realized that she was caught. And she fell down before Jesus' feet. She said, I touched you, Lord. I've been unclean my whole life. But you healed me. Now the, so thing the thing about, 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 about me, the, the thing, thing about, about being unclean is that, that if you touch someone and you're unclean, unclean they, they become unclean. unclean. But nothing that could, that could defile, defile the all-pure all one. The all-pure all one was undefilable. Instead, he purified. This woman wasn't even the one that Jesus was going to heal. He first came for the little children. But because, but because of faith, of faith she, she was, was healed. healed. How often times we go through our life and we spend all of our resources trying to make ourselves feel better. When what we really need to do is touch the hem of Christ. What we really need to do is allow him to heal us. And what do we have to do? Reach forth our hands in faith. It is such a simple, simple solution. If we've gone through our lives with impurities that we think keep us from being close to God, the answer is very simple. Touch the hem of Christ. Reach out to him with faith in your heart. And he will say to you, raise up, daughter. Raise up, son. Your faith has made you well.